First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor, praise, and glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, also the true, true Holy Black Messiah, the King of Kings, royalty himself, Yahweh Shah, Mashiach, also the Final Five, Two, Five, One West, Father the Kings, Carl Baker, you get one another lesson. Before I go forward in this lesson, let's intend to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which consists of the so called blacks, African Americans, so called, so called Latinos, and Native American Indian descent, and also our confusion of faith, brothers and sisters that look like the other nations, that scattered abroad. The four corners of the earth is going to look like all the other nations. So you're going to have Israelites come out of all nations, you know, according to James 1 and 1 to the 12 tribes that are scattered abroad. Greetings. Peace and blessings be unto you. <clears throat> I'm going to title this lesson. E or Esau <clears throat> is ruling unto, unto his own hurt. Esau eat him. Esau Edom is ruling to his own hurt. Um, uh, reading this story, story on it, um, this brother here uh, that spent 45 years in prison, happened in Jacksonville. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to play a little bit for fair use, uh, definitely fair use, fair use. And I'm gonna let the video play. And I, I want to make mention of this real quick that Esau, you're gonna be rewarded double. You read the book of Revelations. Um, and he don't real Esau does not realize the type of punishment that awaits him. And you'd be like, why would you say that? The reason why I say that, because when you read the scriptures, it tells you that evil men understand not judgment. I'm going to get that too. You know, um, yeah, I'm going to let the video play and I'm going to bring out a couple of scriptures. Fair use, fair use. Fair use, fair use, fair use. Also tonight, a man who was illegally in prison for 25 years has filed a lawsuit against the detectives in Bull County and the city of Jacksonville. <laughs> Billy Williams was released in 2020, but he was still on parole until just this January when his charges were dropped. This Jacksonville area Schiller spoke with Williams and his lawyers about their hopes in filing this lawsuit. Now, it sounds to me, my sense of sounds to me, I'm going to this one, you know, a pain, you know, a lead in Jacksonville, and we've got the lead in Jacksonville, and we've got the lead Billy Williams is seeking justice for three years after he was wrongfully imprisoned. His legal team filed a lawsuit Wednesday against the detectives in his case, the city of Jacksonville and Duval County. Williams is convicted of attempted murder and robbery in 1976. The state attorney's office uncovered evidence that the witness in the case was hypnotized as a way to identify the suspect, but was never disclosed to the defense. Warren Carp Hall, an attorney at Logan Movie, which represents Williams, alleges the hypnosis was used to identify Williams as the suspect. They did this despite the fact that there was clear evidence that there another man had committed these crimes and was responsible. Because that man committed suicide shortly after the crimes happened, he decided to paint Billy as the shooter and caused his 45-year imprisonment. There's never been any physical evidence to tie them to these crimes, and instead he had to be in prison almost half his life, nearly half a century, for the crimes of which he was innocent. Who were one executive director for the Human Rights Defense Center says, by filing this lawsuit, he's hoping that the city will right its wrongs for Williams, and was also hoping for reparations for the decades he spent in prison. Yeah, um, I'm going to get a scripture real quick. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 9. I'm going to start off here. Um, it says, I have, I have, all this have I seen and applied my heart into every work that is done under the sun. There is a time, this is the time that we're living in, but Esau, Edom rulership is coming to an end vastly. 
There is a time where one man ruled over another to his own hurt. So Esau Edom, which is the so-called white man, he, you know, he's ruling to his own hurt. You know, um, he don't he, he don't understand the judgment that awaits him. Um, the Bible talks about in the scriptures that evil men understand not judgment. Let me get that real quick. Because he doesn't realize the punishment that awaits awaits him. You know, when you read the book of Obadiah, it talks about how that nation is going to be completely eradicated off the face of the earth. Um, you know, by Yahweh and Yahweh Shah and the holy angels. You know, it tells you how they are going to experience completely annihilation. And this is not a man-made movement. This is something that's from the heavens. Something that's above man. Like when you read the book of Isaiah, our king, he mentioned that I will not meet thee as a man. They let you know that this movement is something that's from the fourth dimension. Um, let's get this real quick in the book of Proverbs of the 28 verse 5. E evil men understand not judgment, but they that seek the Lord understands all things. We understand that we came in this captivity as slaves because we broke the laws and statutes and commandments of our power. And we understand that Esau Edom had a select, uh, select time to rule, which is time is winding up. And we also understand that Esau Edom, along with the other nation, is, are going into harsh bondage slavery. We understand that as well. And we also understand that Esau Edom will be rewarded double, according to the book of Revelations. When you read the scripture, it tells you they'll be rewarded double, you know, um, you know, um, so. All the stuff that we face, I know it's harsh. Like this brother just spent 45 years of his life um, behind bars. They even, they even made a movie about that with Mar Lawrence and Eddie Murphy called Life, how they was doing a lot of railroading. They was railroading a lot of people back in those times just to, you know, um, bring them up on chump charges to keep their prison system, prison, prison, prison system going. Because the prison system is big business, you know. Um, like I told you, this is a capitalist society. You know, it's built off oppression and equal and unequal judgment. You know, and they're going to get judged for all the abominations they have done and are currently still doing to the children of Israel. You know, and um, they're going to be rewarded double. Primary Esau Edom, because he's the top. Um, leader of all this wickedness when you read the book of Psalms, the 83rd chapter, I believe. You know, and I just want to touch on that, man. Um, my heart goes out to the brother. He spent 45 years in prison. Uh, I know it's a long time, but you saw Edom, you're going to spend, you're going to experience heavenly time. Your judgment is going to be something that this, that no man have ever faced before. Because remember, one day with our power is a thousand years. So they're going to be the, uh, the heathens and the other nations, primarily Esau, Edom, they are going to be serving captivity in heavenly time. You know, so that's something to think about. So they will be rewarded double, you know, and um, I want to just um, just touch on that, alliterate on that, because this is just a sad situation. I'm seeing our people being railroaded like this in this corruptible system, you know, and um, um, I'm going to bring I'm going to um, bring out one scripture and I'm going to close it out. This is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verse 8. If thou seest if thou seest the oppression of the poor, the in violent, perverting of judgment, like we just seen perverting of judgment. This man spent 45 years of his life and behind bars for a crime he didn't commit. And justice in the province, marvel not at the matter. For he that is higher than the highest regardeth. And there he there be higher than they. So <laughs> the most high got the final say so. And um, with that, I want to close it out. I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to our Father Yahweh, also the true of the the King of Kings, royalty himself, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, also the Father of our Chief, for the one West. This Paul of Kings, remember, make it to get one of the lessons. Shalom, Israel. And Esau, Edom, and the wicked, um, their rulership is vastly coming to an end. Shalom, Israel. Peace and blessings, and Shalom.